Imagine a disease that spreads through the air, lingering long after an infected person coughs or speaks. Now, imagine an outbreak of that disease hitting your community. That's exactly what's happening in the Kansas City metro area, where health officials have confirmed the largest tuberculosis outbreak in U.S. history. At least 67 people have been diagnosed with active TB, with cases concentrated in Wyandotte and Johnson counties. Additionally, 79 individuals have tested positive for latent TB infections, meaning they carry the bacteria but are not currently ill or contagious. In this video, we'll break down what's happening, how TB spreads, and whether this outbreak poses a real threat to public health. Leave a comment below to let me know your thoughts. The outbreak was first detected in January 2024, and two deaths have been linked to it, both occurring last year. The Kansas Department of Health and Environment has been working closely with the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention to contain the spread and provide treatment for affected individuals. What is tuberculosis? Tuberculosis is an infectious disease caused by Mycobacterium tuberculosis. It primarily affects the lungs but can spread to other organs. TB is transmitted through the air when an infected person coughs, sneezes, or speaks, releasing bacteria into the environment. People in prolonged close contact with an infected individual are at a higher risk of contracting the disease. Symptoms of active TB include, number one, a persistent cough lasting more than three weeks. Number two, coughing up blood or mucus. Number three, chest pain. Number four, fatigue and weakness. Number five, unexplained weight loss. Number six, loss of appetite. Number seven, and fever, chills, and night sweats. Some individuals may develop latent TB, meaning they have the bacteria in their body but do not exhibit symptoms or spread the disease. However, without treatment, latent TB can develop into active TB over time. Response to the outbreak Health officials are actively screening and testing individuals who may have been exposed to the disease. The CDC has dispatched a team to assist in containment efforts and testing is being offered at no cost. Those diagnosed with active TB are receiving treatment, which typically involves a four to nine month regimen of antibiotics. State health officials have emphasized that treatment will be provided free of charge for uninsured individuals or for those whose health insurance does not cover TB treatment. Health workers are also closely monitoring patients to ensure they complete their full course of antibiotics, which is critical for preventing drug resistant TB strains. Now, the question remains. Should you be worried? Despite the alarming number of cases, the risk to the general public remains low. TB is not spread through casual contact, such as touching shared surfaces or brief interactions. Infection typically requires prolonged exposure to an infected individual in an enclosed space. Health experts recommend that those who have been in close contact with an infected person get tested for TB. Additionally, individuals working in high-risk environments such as healthcare facilities, shelters, and correctional institutions should undergo regular TB screening. While the outbreak is concerning, officials are confident that with proper containment measures, testing, and treatment, further spread can be minimized. For the majority of the public, there is no immediate cause for alarm, but awareness and early detection remain key in controlling the disease. If you want to support the channel, please like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And there should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you will enjoy. And just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Have a nice day and thanks for watching.